Cop, who was a good player also, that died last year, he was from Michigan. He and I were drag racing buddies because I drag raced the whole circuit too and played pool. And Top had a race car, I had a race car. Loney had a race car. And Loney used to play strictly for money. That's all he did for a living. He told me several times, if he didn't win any money, he did not eat. That was his philosophy. Now, he taught me a few tricks, and Waddell taught me a few tricks in New Orleans. Ollie Mann used to teach me at the bar and pool hall on South Rampart, Dad Storio. I used to go there when I was a kid. That was beforehand. That was, I was a kid when I went there. But I used to get in there, and I was big for my age. And Ollie Man and Waddell used to shoot in the French quarters and stuff. And Ollie Man was real good. He used to play the people for a nickel a game and a quarter a game. Whatever they had, it didn't matter. He wanted it. If they didn't have five dollars, he played them for a dollar, whatever. And oh, it was just a wondrous thing. So they used to call me. Say, hey, lock and load. Man, why people call you lock and load? Well, I didn't give myself that name. I had a habit. When I played nine ball, I got to be the best player that I know of at combos with the one on the nine. That's what originated my name, lock and load. He's going to lock you up and load you out. Simple as that. You tell him, look, you play him, you give him a shot, no matter where the nine is located, He's a witness to that too. I'm gonna make it. It don't matter where it's at. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's how I acquired the name Lock and Load. Because people said, well, look, man, he don't play a full game. I said, well, what you call a full game? Man, I I'm a run out player. I said, well, I'm seven ahead in a race to seven. What what, what do I care what you are? I met Keith Schilling in the pool hall in the East when we were both spring chickens. We were bumping heads and I was, had that one hand game and Keith said he didn't want none of that one hand game. <laughs> the one hand game was, I never needed two. And the players that wanted me to shoot with two, after I shoot with two, then they wouldn't play but three or four games anyway. Keith Schilling and I would meet at the pool halls we were gonna go to and tell her, I mean, Play them some pool, <laughs> not shell rise them. Play them some pool and win some money and go ahead. But found out that I could play pretty good. And the one hand thing came because back to the 70s in Michigan with Loney. I told Loney and made a promise to him that I would beat him playing pool with one hand before it was over with because he used to beat me at every game possible, including Kelly pool. So I couldn't beat him. So finally, when I went back to Michigan to play him at a pool hall on Potter Street in Saginaw, Michigan, I never will forget it. The place was packed, and I beat him to the to into a coma with one hand. Every game he pulled up. Okay, then he was satisfied. Several of his friends wanted to try their hand and put up their fifty dollars and beat them into a coma too. I played Monroe Jones out of Alabama, even, okay, and I won. We played, the score was tied 4-4. I won four and he lost four. So that's the tie score in my book. <laughs>